Hello there music maker, in this video I'm gonna show you a pull-off exercise and why we're doing this legato things using the fretting hand techniques like this is to make our playing more expressive. It's a way to connect the notes in the melodies without using the pick all the time. So we're doing this on a D major scale, it's a very good way to build this into your playing and it's a perfect preparation for my tune Walls of the Dreams and basically all new Nordic tunes that are using a lot of this legato playing pull-offs and hammer-ons. In this video we're going to take a closer look on the pull-off lines. My name is Magnus Sedlen and I help mandolin players just like you take your playing to the next level. If you're new here at our channel, please subscribe and also make sure you hit that bell notification button and you will get notified as soon as we publish a new video. For all lessons, this one included, if you want to simplify the learning, you find the sheet music, the tabs, the audio tracks and all that inside Mandolin Secrets Academy. And it's not only a collection of very big library of uh, mandolin lessons, it's also a growing community of mandolin players just like you. So go check it out at mandolinsecrets.com. I will now play through the complete exercise with my metronome and I've set the tempo to 100 beats per minute. And if you're a beginner, you probably want to go a little bit slower. If you're intermediate, you can also go up to one, like 130, 140 maybe. And if you're advanced, maybe even faster than that. But that's all written in the instructions. But here we're good doing it at 100 beats per minute. One, two, three, two, two, three. It's easier to do the pull off on the upper strings, so I want you to start there doing it on the E and the A string. So when playing a pull off, we're picking a fretted note, pulling off the finger so it makes a sound. We can do the pull off to an open string or a fretted note. In this exercise we're doing both, but I think it's a very good practice to be able to do a pull-off between two notes, like just beside each other. So the preparation exercise could look like this. And I would say like 99 times of the time we're doing the pull-off towards the ground using the gravity. So the pull-off is not doing upwards but downwards. And it's going to be a little bit more tricky on the lower strings but even with, with time you will get that thing to work as well. And even if this exercise is good, it's very rare that we're playing legato that way. Most often we're playing the legato like mixed up with picked notes. So that's actually why I want you to play an, an exercise and a sequel once like the one that I've written, so that you're actually practicing that alternating between legato and picked notes.
that is the first four bars of the exercise, then it just continues on the lower string. Etc. So the idea is very simple for this exercise, but I don't say it's easy. It may take some time to get into this. What legato playing, the pull-offs and the hammer-ons will give us is a more expressive way of playing melodies. So it's really useful to pay attention to this. And in the written instructions in the PDF, you can see my tempo suggestions there. And also this thing that I, I want you also not to play this only for D major scale. If you're in like intermediate or advanced players that can do this, try to do it on another scale. Pick the G minor scale or whatever scale you're working on and try to like incorporate the pull-offs into that. And one more thing that you can see in the notation is the accents I put there. One thing that makes the pull-offs easier is to actually play an accented note just before it, giving the string a little more energy and that like makes the pull-off a little bit easier. And I think this is also the reason why this sound good, because we're not making every note like equally, sort of. So the accented note, we make it a little like more rhythmically more important and that what creates uh, nice rhythms in your playing. So I'm gonna play the exercise once more here with the metronome and you can follow along. I have now raised the tempo a little bit so that you can hear it also at a little bit faster tempo. This is 130 beats per minute. One, two, three, four, five, Maybe you can hear there that it's actually sounding more fluent when I'm bringing it up to speed. Maybe that's the case for you as well. So please try at different tempos to see how you can get it to work for you. And remember, use the top strings first. Okay, play around with this, explore it and have fun. And if you're new to using pull-ups in your playing, it might take a little bit time to get into this, but it can really make your playing much more expressive. So it's worth paying attention to it. And as I said, for Walls of the Dreams and, the, and my Nordic uh, folk tunes, that can also really help you to get into the legato playing. Very good. So I'm interested to know, do you use pull-offs in your playing? Do you find it like a good technique to use? Do you find it challenging? Anyway, please put it in the comments below. We would be very happy to see what's your thoughts about this. And as always, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. See you in a new video soon.